We are currently experiencing mass production and consumerism when it comes to architecture. Ever since 2008 market crash, buildings have been seen as a commodity rather than a place to live for people. This caused an increase in production to bring more growth to the economy. The economy that we as the general public can never profit from. This overgrowing in production in architecture created another problem as well. Building a building is not good for the environment. On the contrary, it puts a lot of stress. We use many natural resources like water, sand and minerals. And many of these resources are currently threatened with extinction. There are, however, many upcycling projects in architecture. Refunctioning and reusing existing structures by giving them new meaning is a growing idea among architects, investors and governments. One of them is in Copenhagen, called the Silo by Kope Architects. This extraordinary project showcases how we can approach the reuse of existing structures. If that sounds interesting to you and if you are interested in the topics like how architecture and design can solve problems in the environment, I highly recommend you to like and subscribe my channel. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's start with Kobe, who they are, what they do and what they stand for. Kobe was founded in 2006 by the architect Dan Stubbegarnt. Stubbegarnt, I hope I'm saying it right. Their office is located in North Halven, where they convert an old warehouse into their laboratory for architecture. About 150 architects work in the Kobe studio and they believe in co-creation where they can see V instead of I. Studio success was fueled in 2008 after winning the competition to transform Nordhaven, the old industrial harbor, into a new Copenhagen neighborhood. This is where their office is currently located, and many of their buildings are built here as well. If you are ever visit Copenhagen, you can visit the public cafe right under their office building. So let's move to the building itself. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any information about the old grain silo. I'm assuming they built it during the Industrial Revolution and at some point it became obsolete and stood there for years. However, industrial buildings like this played a key role in defining the identity of the city, so it is crucial to keep raw, brutal and monolithic characteristics of those buildings. This building consists of 2740 cubic meters of concrete, which embodies 500 tons of carbon dioxide, so it is critical to reuse this building instead of demolishing and rebuilding something new. The decision to refunctioning the old silo or silo starts with reimagining the old harbor Nordhaven, which translates into North Harbor. The three most essential ingredients to successful project, a passionate government, a passionate investor and passionate architects come together and the Kobe got the commission in 2013 to redesign the old silo. The building gets completed in 2017 and won the best tall building award in 2018. They divided the functions with the sandwich method. The ground level is said to be a public exhibition area, something like an urban activator. The housing units are in the middle, consisting of 39 apartments from 73 to 305 square meters. So quite luxurious. Every apartment plan is unique and floor to ceiling heights goes up to 7 meters. Quite luxurious. <laughs> On the top of our sandwich is the second level of public space as the bar, restaurant and cafe. I'm using quotation marks when saying public space because, of course, since you have to consume something, it is not really accessible to everybody. The unit plans are designed respectfully to fit in the existing 4.5 grid system. The openings are created by cutting out the concrete walls. This leftover concrete is reused for seating and podiums on the landscape. Quite clever, I have to say. The whole building is coated by high-precision prefabricated 3D models from galvanized steel. It's quite luxurious. Each unit has a minimum of two balconies. Again, quite luxurious. These balconies are shaped like pockets, protecting the users from wind and unwanted sights. Especially the harbor area in Copenhagen can be quite windy. What is quite interesting is that the windows are integrated into the modules that are hanging out of the building. And the frames of the window disappear when we look from inside to outside. I quite like it. The silo has won various awards, but the most important one is that it was showcased in one of the episodes of Simpsons. Thank you for watching this presentation and once again, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with somebody you might think enjoy as well. Sharing and expanding the information is the best thing that we can do to make a better world. Thank you again for being here. I love you all. Have a glorious day. Ciao.